Aloha, fellow travelers. Hey, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're on the coast of Brazil in a little town called Jureia, middle of nowhere, fantastic place. And what I got for you today is basically what tourists should know before they come here to Brazil. Because when you're wondering what language they speak here in Brazil, they speak Portuguese, they speak Portuguese, okay? And the thing is, a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to Brazil. I already speak Spanish, so I'm fine. Look, Portuguese and Spanish are two different languages. And just because you speak Spanish doesn't mean people will understand you here, okay? Because the difference is in the language. The people here, they speak Portuguese. Very few people will be speaking English or Spanish to help you out, okay? Now, if you go to a kind of a higher level of hotel or restaurant, there will be people who speak English. In like Rio, there's a lot of tourists going there. You have a better chance of finding a lot more English there. But in general, you need to know a little Portuguese when you come here. Even if it's just, you know, obrigado, which is thank you, which is a word, seriously, you just start using obrigado or obrigada if you're a woman and everyone's so happy. Oh, you know some Portuguese. It's great. Now, the thing is, if you know Spanish, a lot, you'll be able to like read a lot of the menu items and stuff like that and get by more or less. But just know that Portuguese, 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 that's what they speak here in Brazil. Okay. Now, the third thing you might want to know about is money. What money do they use here? They use the real. Okay, and the real has bills and coins. The coins aren't really worth anything. The only coins that are worth anything to you that you might see is the one real coin or a 50 centavo coin or a 50 cent coin. Otherwise, you're using bills. And the thing is, here when you pay, it's usually cash is preferred, okay? And what you're gonna see is you might say, oh, what about my, my credit cards? Can I use my credit cards here a lot? Well, some places will say, yes, we take cards, but they only take a debit card or a Visa debit card. And sometimes those Visa debit cards from the US or Europe might not work as a debit card here, so it might only work for local cards. So just know you will need some cash when you are here. Now, when you go to the ATM, because that's where I recommend you get your cash, okay? Go to your ATM, use your local, you know, from home debit card to get money out. What you will notice is those ATMs are inside the banks or like in a parking garage or in a shopping center and stuff like that. They're inside. They don't have them posted outside very often or if ever because of safety considerations. So go in the bank, you can exchange money the bank it takes a long time or you can use your ATM next thing we want to talk about is how are you going to get around Brazil because Brazil is huge it's like the US it's a huge country and it's always funny in the US I meet tour tourists that are gonna say oh I'm gonna rent a car in New York and then drive to Miami and then go to lot drive to Los Angeles I'm like you're crazy it's so far you've got to fly Brazil is the same thing. You're not going to drive from Natal to Sao Paulo. That's just too dang far. And the driving here, you don't want to drive here. I mean, it is crazy with semi trucks weaving through and all this kind of stuff. Save your sanity and your life. Don't drive. So you're going to fly between these places. A local airline that we use is called Goal. You can buy your tickets online from them. No problem. So, so you should be okay there. And they, their prices are usually relatively okay within Brazil. If you take them out of Brazil, sometimes it's a bit more. So, be careful with that. So there's a flying side. Other times you will be taking buses. And I have taken buses from Sao Paulo to Belo Horizonte. But you know, sometimes if there's an accident or there's traffic, which there's always traffic, it took hours and hours longer. So just make sure when you are traveling, you have patience here. But you will use buses, especially if you're gonna to go to some of the smaller towns. You can fly, for example, you go to Minas Gerais where the colonial towns are and the and the mines were, you fly into Belo Horizonte, then you've got to take a bus to Ouro Preto, probably my favorite town in Brazil. And so you will be taking those buses. One thing I will say is sometimes there's a variety of prices on the buses going to some cities. Higher prices, you're going to get probably a better coach, uh, more amenities and things like that, less stops. So just realize it might be 30 reals for this one and then 50 reals for the other. Sometimes that 20 real difference is worth the price. So be ready for that. But the distance can be very long. OK, now the next thing we want to talk about is what are you going to see when you are in Brazil? Yes, there are lots of beaches here and you see a lot of skin on the beaches. So you, you can leave your modesty at home. It's OK. You don't wear much there. Now, you don't go topless because that's illegal. Okay, but you can have it just a little bit stuff showing guys as well just a little bit of stuff showing Okay, you got you got to be covered up But obviously the beaches and the nature are the best things to do here if you're looking for great nature things Obviously people like to go to the rainforest you know, go to Manaus and go to the Amazonas the Amazon rainforest So you can see the dolphins jumping in and all kinds of stuff like that And that's really cool But the thing is since the rainforest is so dense you actually don't see a lot of animals
animals when you're there. So if you want to see a lot of animals, you go to Pantanal. That's my actually favorite kind of natural part of Brazil. It's a swampland, and that's where you, you know, you float down the river with the piranhas and, and the jacare, the alligators. Oh yeah, I was floating down the river with my buddy Fernando, and he's like, hey Mark, turn around. I'm like, why? He's like, just turn around. I turn my head, and there's a jacare with his mouth wide open waiting for me. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, you can fish for piranha, all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to have, you know, the Afro-Brazilian culture, go to Salvador da Bahia. Totally cool there. If you want to see, oh, one place you got to go, Iguazu Falls. Probably the coolest waterfalls in the world in Iguazu. You can go there. It's right on the border with Argentina. There's so many great natural things to do. And the thing is, if you don't want the nature side of it, there's some cool cities to go to as well. Sao Paulo for its shopping and its food and the international nature of that city. And oh my God, the, the shopping there, that's the shopping capital of South America. You can get anything you ever wanted there. And of course, You've got Rio, okay? Rio with Christ the Redeemer up on the hill and Sugarloaf and Copacabana Beach and Ipanema and you go to the botanical gardens and all the awesome stuff in Rio. There's all kinds of great places to go all throughout Brazil. So don't just think your trip to Brazil should be Rio and that's it. There's so much more. João Pessoa in the very north is really nice and, and Olinda by Recife is a cool place to visit and, and there's all kinds of really neat things all throughout the country. So make sure Use your time here to see more than just Rio and Sao Paulo. There's so much more to that. You can go to the South Santa Catarina. I know I'm just going on and on about these places. Obviously, I really like Brazil. I actually lived here for seven months, a few moons ago, let's say, back here visiting my family. And it is just a place I have a lot of passion for because the people, that's the next thing. The people here really make Brazil. They are the most fun people ever. They want you to have a good time here and they want to have a good time. But I will tell you, make sure you have patience when you come here because things don't always happen as fast as people say they will or they should so make sure you do have patience when you are here but the people are fantastic they'll give you the shirt off their back they'll talk to you tell you where to go what to eat you see people in the stores going to the markets oh no you're a foreigner try this fruit try this fruit you've never heard of it try it anyway here have some just try it and the people really do make brazil just awesome okay now the next thing i want to talk about is mark what am i going to eat and drink when i I am here in Brazil and the thing is Brazil has very distinct regions and the food is going to be very distinct everywhere you go if you're in the south it's much more of a meat based thing if you're on the coast you're gonna have more seafood based kind of things you go to you know Bahia Salvador Bahia you're gonna have acarajé which is I, I can't even explain some of these foods it's, it's impossible to explain I'll put pictures up vatapa oh of course when you're here the Brazilian dish is feijoada. It's a bean stew with sausage in it and all kinds of stuff. Black bean stew is fantastic. You can have caldo de feijão, which is a bean soup, which is great. Um, what else? Oh, of course, you got to go to Rodizio, right? You got to go have Brazilian meat place. They come around, just cut the meat off and give it to you. And the cut of meat you want to have when you're here is picanha. Okay, picanha is this like beef with a little bit of fat on it. It is fantastic. And the thing is, as cool is when you're here, there's all kinds of little snacks you can have, like pau de queijo, cheese bread is really good, or coxinha de frango, like a little fried dough ball, potato dough ball with chicken inside. There's all kinds of great little snacks here. But one thing I got to warn you, if you are coming here, whether you're going to the south, the north, the east, the west, the coast, wherever, rice and beans, that's part of the food here. You will have a lot of rice and beans or beans and rice. That is a staple Brazilian food, okay? Now, there's more food out there. Just wherever you go, look in the food section of your guides or ask your hotel, what is the food that's a specialty of here? When I was in Minas Gerais, I was eating, you know, chicken cooked in its own blood because that was a special there. It was just one of those things you got to do. You got to try all this great food. The drinks here, look, don't drink the water. You can brush your teeth probably, you'll be fine, but drink bottled water when you are here. Um, some of the drinks you should have when you're here, a special soda from here in Brazil is Guaraná. And it's kind of ginger ale-ish kind of drink. It's from a, the, this, this fruit that's here. It's got a, like a high caffeine content, just so you know. Uh, but it is kind of the, the local soda throughout Brazil you want to have. Other things you want to have here is you're going to be drinking beer, okay? And here you don't just drink beer. You drink ice cold beer. Cerveja is beer. Cerveja bem gelada. <laughs> beer really cold, okay? And actually, if your beer, you don't think it's cold enough, you can actually send it back and say, hey, this beer isn't cold enough. Okay, that is how important an ice cold beer is here in Brazil. It's got to be ice cold, all right? 
And of course, you have the hard liquor you have to have here, which is Kinshasa, sometimes called Pinga. And basically, Kinshasa is like a, is a, it's a liquor, okay? It's, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things that fire water kind of stuff. And what, what you do with the Kinshasa is actually you make a caipirinha, which you take sugar and limes and you smush it up, you muddle it together, okay, to make that kind of like a syrup at the bottom. Then you throw some ice in and then you pour in your... Your, your kinshasa. Some people do it in different orders in terms of when the kinshasa goes in. You have that, stir it up and drink it. That is the quintessential Brazilian drink that you have to have here. Now the thing is, if you're going to go to restaurants and stuff like that and bars, you may ask yourself, Mark, do I tip when I come here to Brazil? No, you don't tip in Brazil because a 10% service charge is already been charged onto your, onto your bill, so you do not have to tip. Its service is already included on there, okay? So you're okay there. It will be on your bill. Now, another side thing is that when you're coming down here, you might ask, well, Mark, what plugs do I need to use? Because I've seen different plugs online because Brazil actually has a new system. It's, they have the N system, which has got the, the, the two plugs like you have in Europe. And then there's a third plug down here that goes in. Now, if you have plugs from Europe, those two round things will go in, no problem. But the electrical system they use here in Brazil is the same as the U.S. Yes, see where it's getting complicated? So what you do need, if you've got U.S. products, you need to have just the little like adapter that'll make the US version this into this and you'll be okay. If you're coming from Europe, if it's a, a cell phone or computer, they already have the converter on there. But if you're bringing other things, you're probably gonna need a converter to switch it. One of the things that's kind of funny is there's actually kind of a joke within the country of why can't we bring back our old plugs? Because if you go to an older home in Brazil, you'll actually see the plugs have the two circle holes for Europe and the two flat things for the US together, which was great for if you were a travel, you can come here, didn't matter what you had, you were pretty much okay. The only problem was those things kind of started fire, so they've kind of gotten rid of those, but just know the plugs here, it's like the Europe two circle ones with a little thing at the bottom. If you got a Europe plug, it's okay. So if you have a Europe adapter, if you're an American, for going to Europe, just bring that with you. For mainland Europe, you'll be okay. And the last thing I wanna talk about is safety. Look, Brazil is not the safest place in the world. No place is super safe. Here in Brazil, I actually have a video on just specific safety tips for Brazil. Some basic things. You know, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Don't wear bling, you know, fancy earrings and stuff like that. Don't, you don't need to dress up super fancy when you are here because you're gonna make yourself a target. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I read the reviews, I, I talk to locals, I say, look, I'm, I'm in Rio at the Copacabana Beach, I see a foreigner with their iPhone out. And I'm like, what are you doing? Put that away, someone will steal that. And you gotta pay attention here. You don't show your wealth here, okay? The wealthy people in, in Brazil don't show their wealth either. So you really need to be careful with that in terms of the safety stuff. So no fancy rings or jewelry, fancy clothes, it can make yourself a kind of a target. Uh, your, your camera equipment, stuff like that. Be careful with those things. Make sure you're always paying attention when you're driving the safety there the driving here is crazy so be make sure you're you're putting on your seatbelt and things like that even the taxi driver says no 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 we're fine we're fine no no just put it on anyway but I will say is if you're going to some places in Brazil and they have uber uber's actually done really well here in in, in Brazil especially in Sao Paulo you're going there make sure you have your uber uh, app updated it'll make your life a lot easier okay other safety things is people worry about mosquitoes Am I gonna get some crazy disease here in Brazil? No, you're probably not gonna get a crazy disease here in Brazil. However, there are some crazy diseases here in Brazil. The things you probably wanna worry about more is diarrhea, but you know, that's, you can take some pills for that. But if you're gonna to go to like the Pantanal, the swamplands in the Southwest of the country by Bonito, Bonito is a great place for adventure tourism, by the way, and ecotourism. But if you go to Pantanal, you need to get a yellow fever shot, okay? You're actually, sometimes you're required to actually have a yellow fever vaccine to go into certain places. So that would be the one uh, extra one I would make sure you get. Um, but otherwise, you should be fine. Just be smart and you know, make sure you're paying attention when you are going to some of the more touristy places like Rio and stuff like that. It's not like people are coming up to you with a gun and robbing you, so don't freak out about that, but just be smart about your safety when you are here. But I'll be honest. I've been to Brazil many times. I actually lived here. I love this place. These people are fantastic. So I might be a bit jaded towards the good side of Brazil, but man, with the food and the people and the nature that's here, this is a country well worth visiting. And don't be scared and scared off by crazy news reports and things like that. You know, be smart, do your research before you go, but make sure you do go because Brazil is maravilloso, okay? So have a great time here in Brazil. I know we will. I brought the whole family, so it's gonna be a good time. Adeus. Bye from Brazil.